2016 Chevy Equinox with the 2.4 2.5 four cylinder engine to remove the harmonic balancer with the main pulley. This tractor in here, yeah. the one with the three. So put them in here, and then start screwing this one in. All goes in. It pushes on the crankshaft. So now we're gonna take. Timing cover off, set the timing. Huh? Alright, so we're ready to install the head. Quick tip make sure these little bad boys are right in place and they're not out. So I'm gonna show you a picture when one is out. We can make some good damage. Just make sure they're all in. So now we have the new casket here. the part number so we're getting ready have everything done I'm gonna clean that out now for the timing on this sprocket you don't have to remove the one in the back see how the back is still in there the timing on this proc on the crankshaft sprocket Keyway, that one right there is gonna be a 12. And that's your timing right here. This one is a little dot in there. That dot in here has to be a 5 p.m. So 5 p.m. So it's not supposed to be pointing in the middle. It's like a like a 5 p.m. This one right here. That one right there. Let me see. This one right here, wherever my finger is, right there. So this one. That one here. That was the mark. The dot in here. That one. So is your mark. Just remember the keyway. At 12 p.m. And your mark is the dot. The dot next to the numbers. Boom. So now you notice the chain is all collapsed. You see the color link right there? The black link. The black link. Try to hold it. Okay, so that black link is gonna have to go right here, right where my finger is. You see right there? So this one right here, the black link goes in here. So let me sh show you on top what's the difference because there was one black link on top, and the chain has two black links on top. I'll show you once I install the head right now. I recommend if it's a um, multi-layer gasket, if it's like metal gasket, go ahead and grab yourself. That's the old one. That's the old one. See how it looks copper? It's because we spray oil. I spray copper on it. Buy this bad boy and cover the whole gasket, front and back. Boom. So it, has, it can have better seal. You don't lose nothing, so let's go, go ahead and buy one of these bad boys. So let me go ahead and get the other gasket. Open this one, cover with copper front and back, put it on the block, and drop it in the head. All right, one tip for your before you start before you install the head. Install the muffler, the exhaust. That's gonna make your life easier. So, exhaust manifold on the head. It's already going to go on your Equinox or anything with this engine. See how it's gonna assemble in there? Another thing, I have a new gas head gasket installed. I spray spray copper on it. And then, it does have a side. 
it says right there. Let's see if I can see it. You can really see it, but uh, some little letters right on the edge. It says top. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. It says oven and then slash top. Top, right there, top. You guys read it? Top. So that's the sign. The top. So of course it's going to go up. I'm going top. So there's only one way. There's no way to miss. So now at this point, I'm ready to install the head. Leave the guides in there. Or maybe I'll remove them so it can be easier. I'm gonna remove the guides and then install the head. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, the head is in. Good. I'm gonna drop in the head bolts, then the injectors, fuel injectors. Let me show you how it looks. It's gonna be one piece. Bam. So for now. Oh, let me show you the exhaust. See the exhaust? Right in. See the stuff? See, this is what I told you. Leave the exhaust in. It's gonna ride in. Nice and easy. So what I'm gonna do now, put the guides and then the timing chain. And I'll show you the marks right now. Let me go ahead and do it. Check it out, if I'm right. One, two, three. <laughs>